Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oatmeal, toast with apple butter. Apple butter from 2013. If you guys haven't seen that video, or have never made any apple butter, oh, you get you a recipe and make some apple butter. It is awesome. And uh, good old cup of coffee. That's how we're gonna start this morning out. And uh, we'll see what the weather does. It rained most of yesterday afternoon. So uh, after I got back from hauling scrap, I started working in my workshop and cleaning it up and trying to organize a little bit. BC truck, be proud of me. <laughs> you don't have to come up and clean it out. I'm on it. All right, so I lounged around a couple hours and uh, called a couple sawmills. Ordered me some uh, one by eight by eight cedar lumber and some uh, two by four by eight cedar lumber. And I'm gonna build some garden beds with it. <clears throat> Ordered 21 by eight by eights and uh, four two by fours by eights. And uh, just gonna build some, some uh, just some simple raised beds. But uh, I gotta wait a couple days to go get them. So anyway, I got them ordered. They cut them as I, as I, as they're ordered. So um, right now we're gonna run to the flea market because I'm fixing to start hooking up that Harbor Freight shallow well pump, and I need some one-inch PVC elbows and some couplings and uh, a few other some male threaded ends. Anyway, we're gonna run to the flea market and we're gonna see if we can't find some because I know I've seen some PVC fittings at this one flea market I go to. Uh, you know, it's all about <clears throat> be familiar with your flea markets. They're kind of like your hardware store in a pinch too. You know, there's always your go-to. Your first go-to should be a flea market to buy it cheaper. So we're gonna head over and see what we can find. Back here in the corner, it's usually got some tools and such. Well, <laughs> didn't find any PVC fittings, but I did buy a good pair of pliers and some great stuff, some white stuff, so. Well, off to the hardware store we go. So it started to rain again. Looks like we might have to put off on uh, hooking up the pump for a little bit. Hopefully it'll calm down this evening. Anyway, went ahead and ordered me some lunch uh, from a Mexican restaurant here in town. Go by and pick it up on the way before I leave town. Head back to the house. Got all my PVC fittings. Got a place called Atwoods. I should have done some video, but it's a farm and ranch supply. It's got a little bit of everything. You know, anything, they might as well call it Homesteads R Us, because uh, <laughs> that's pretty much where I go for most things. So, anyway, we're going to pick up some lunch. We're going to head out of town back to the house. All right, so lunch is called the Bobby. <laughs> And it's ridiculous. It's fries with uh, fajita meat, fajita steak, fajita chicken, jalapenos, smothered in white cheese dip, <laughs> and salsa and chips. So, anyway, I got it from an authentic Mexican restaurant. So, I know if I go to Mexico, I can say, uh, can I get a Bobby? And I know what I'm talking about. You know, put another jalapeno on the Bobby. <laughs> anyway, this is lunch. Okay, so there was a lot of stuff in between on this day too. <laughs> but uh, they're going to be separate videos. Like, uh, I'll do a workshop tour here pretty soon. And uh, you can see, still working on the well pump. That's going to be in a separate video by itself. And, uh, 
fixing to throw some steaks on the grill. That's pretty much uh, gonna finish up this day. So this is Coke Man 250 from the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless everybody. And remember, prep smarter, pray harder. <laughs>